Especially with how last episode ended, this episode being called Vestiges has me very curious. What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with My Hero Academia Season 5. Real quick though, I do have a question for you guys. Um, this, ep this season should have 25 episodes for it, I, I looked it up, but did the first episode last week, did that count? as an episode for it because it was like the recap with just a little bit at the end of being the teaser um or is this technically episode one and there's 24 more episodes after this i'm probably still gonna title this my hero academia season five episode two reaction i'm just curious for my own sanity thank you guys but with i mean last episode was what we expected you know the recap getting us back into our students staff getting us into those my hero vibes you know relearning the quirks the names because there is a lot of students i won't lie but the ending did have me so curious i'm I was pissed off at the end of it, but I'm not going to fully distrust my man Hawks. I kind of took a second back and maybe he's doing, you know, you know, people, people do stuff for the betterment of society. All the, I, I'm not going to give judgment until I have full context. That's what I should say. But I am very curious to find out what happens. I have, I am a little late on this episode. I know I might try to stay up super late because this these air i'm pretty sure at two in the morning my time for me so i might try to stay up late for the next episode uh, i have heard this episode's a banger so i'm excited for it but uh i say other than that we hop right on into this real quick though remember if you guys want full length and early access to this show and the other shows i'm watching like jujutsu kaisen black clover haikyuu check out that patreon obviously not this one because i can't give you early access i wish i could but we are four episodes ahead on all the other shows links are always in the description for you guys make sure to subscribe if you guys currently are not click that bell so you guys always know when i post if you want to help me out with the youtube algorithm please leave a like and let me know your thoughts in the comments down below let's hop right on into this uh my hero academia season five episode one to two depending on the question i had at the beginning vestiges let's do this all right starting exactly where we ended with endeavor still thinking about that day Okay, I know what's getting good. I don't mean to pause it real quick. I just wanted to say some people, I did say that because Dabby said this is the first time they've met, that kind of confirms that it's not the father son theory. A lot of people in the comments, respectfully, you guys did it without being mean, thankfully. Thank you. But uh, said that doesn't kind of make it necessarily true because there's ways to get, there's just a lot of loopholes and all this. And that theory still is very predominant and very strong. You guys are right. I apologize. I'm wrong. I still ship it. I'm down, whatever. I'm into this. Let's go. Yep. Doesn't even remember. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay. Oh! She's one of the top 10 heroes! What was her name? Where the hell did she come from? I have it written down. Okay. Okay, okay, hold on, hold the phone. Okay, okay. First off, I was not expecting this whatsoever off rips, but her name is Mirko. I, ha I have that written down. She's one of the top 10. I, I didn't get her number. I think she was number six. She was definitely below Wash, who was number eight. I remember that. So six, seven, right around there. She is nasty. She seems like she is super confident. I love the way she's fighting. But the Dabby Endeavor, his name is NG Todoroki. I I mean, with me being an audience member who generally knows more than the characters in the show because I have this outside perspective and me not even knowing his name, I'm sure the average public doesn't know these. I mean, they are celebrities, so I... I mean, no one knows Toshinori's name. No one knows All Might's name. So no, I really would doubt the average person would know Ng Toto. Ng Todoroki. That's so fire. Okay, so for all you guys who said my whole theory gone for, I I'm sorry. I I am truly sorry. But this is insane. Mirko coming out clutch when Dabby wanted to escape. He said Ujiko. I went back and wrote that down. Uh, who is that? Some seems to have some sort of warping quirk. If I had to relate it to a warping quirk that we know of, uh, All for One's warping warping quirk that looked more bluish rather than his like silver metallic-y one. But that one was also like liquid that came out of you, enveloped you, and like sucked you into there. Where you know, I, I I'm just so curious. I'm so curious. 
一見落着っぽいですねいやこれは始まりだ Oh my this season's about to be so fire No pun intended いろいろ話が違ってたそうだって出会うわけにはいかなかったからな So they had some sort of prior arrangement at a warehouse by the coast. Okay. A random strong guy. Okay, so they both kind of. This is interesting. The Hawks went out of. Hawks started this? Okay, so he won't let him see the boss yet, so he doesn't he's not in in yet. He's still kinda on the outside. Maybe he's doing this for a long con. Yeah, there's still so much we don't know. I get that. So we need someone on the inside. Yeah, so it's a very tricky dilemma, you know. Okay. I could see why they could they would choose him. Wow, look at that scar. Yeah, he still has his left eye, which is great, but that is such a scar. He does. They look wavy in this outfit, though. He's starting to question it. It is very coincidental. That's a good rebuttal. It's a good comeback. That's smart on his part. He did this prematurely. Smart. I wonder how long it takes his feathers to grow back. It seems to have grown back a little bit. Another day or so. Thanks for answering that, Hawks. I appreciate that. True. So that must mean... I'm curious who these guys are. They must have such higher up pull, you know? So that's why you see, okay. Damn. I just want to pause it real quick and talk briefly about this. This is a very big development in my eyes. And we saw in season four, I'm pretty sure the last ending, like during the whole festival school festival arc you saw a little snippet of hawks on like a treadmill with like like the things they do for athletes you know to take them to that next level and he was a child when they did that so he had he had some incident when he was a child and he was able to save an abundant save a great amount of people and they saw that and knew that the potential that he had so they kind of took him in and under uh, took care of his family which makes a lot of sense because they were kind of taking him for you know setting him up for this future career and he's the youngest hero to have his own agency which makes sense with the backing of people like this who are super higher up and obviously because of his talents but i do really like the reasoning for picking him he's indifferent to prestige and fame probably also due to how they raised him they probably know the most about hawks compared to anyone else so he's like like i'm saying he's such this is becoming so complicated so quick he's becoming such a deep gray area character and being undercover is something that is very tricky it does take a lot of like he said you just expect me to ignore the harm coming people's way and then we have the altercation between him and dabby where dabby's like the plan originally was a warehouse with a much weaker nomu and then hawks was going to bring just some guy where they were going to test and do some it was kind of literally just an experiment you know what how would your average hero deal up with this novel see how strong this nomu is but dabby ended up bringing the fucking super nomu and then he <laughs> hawks ended up being with endeavor and super da a lot of damage was done to endeavor or ng todoroki whatever you want to call i still call it like calling him endeavor but it's just so and he definitely feels bad about that but he's maintaining his cover with an like 
obviously he's maintained because it's his job but it's his job. like it's it's very complicated and i'm really enjoying that like i never would have thought we would deal with an undercover story because i love undercover police like crime thrillers where they have to deal with some of the shit like that goes on like they have to deal with some shit so i'm just curious where this goes i'm sorry for rambling on this is just so good <laughs> I, res I respect that goal to hit at the fastest speed I can. Uh, where heroes don't have to do their job, that's something you can strive for. Oh, wow. Aizawa was waiting outside. I love it. Can't believe a cat doesn't like Aizawa, man. I love cats. I don't think I got brother's name or I remember it. Natsu. It'll take time, I, understandably, you know. I understand. He spoke his mind, though, which was good. I don't blame him. These are definitely very hard things to deal with, you know. These super deep-rooted family issues. Oh, I feel for the sister. Sisters are a lot of the times the things that hold families together like this, you know. She seems super sweet, too, and genuine. Oh, they got merch? He's, he went viral? He's like a meme? That's hilarious. Look, boy. That's awesome. That's nice of uh, Todoroki to say. The hero endeavor is amazing. But Enji Todoroki has a lot of issues he's, he needs to atone for. So as a father, yep. At least he's somewhat being open-minded. He's gone through such a similar change himself. They're actually so similar. Physi oh, it's so crazy. I love it. Wow. Is that her name, Fuyumi? Better late than never, I always say. Yeah, he was fucked up for a long time, but, you know, he's trying to change. He's trying. Oh, no. We're going in the all, the one for all dream. Yes, definitely more clear than that. I am so ready to see oh, the vest. Oh, the, the last remaining trait. Look at them. Oh, they get like more blurry as they go, and I'm so pissed. See, they get so blurry. Who are they? Oh. Bro, he looks so dope. Some of these guys look so dope. Oh, wow. A young all for one. Yeah, he could tell. That's what I was saying. It's, ooh, he looks kind of intimidating. Yes, this is the original. Yep. First one for all. Oh, the music, bro, is back. I love it. Bro, this is crazy. They call Quirk's meta powers. So this is how he would gain the, the feelings of people in the trust. Wow. Yep. He helps people like this, he can build an entire army of followers. No wonder. I could see how he's saying that, but he's manipulating. Yeah. 
This is very complicated. Oh, yeah. He, oh my god. Look at this. Toys to those without power, mercy to those who have sinned. He could seem like a god among these men, you know? This is reminding me of another show I'm watching, uh, Attack on Titan. Certain people, it's like a dream. <laughs> Only read until you didn't. You didn't finish. Hell yeah, that's how it always goes down. The hero always wins. The demon king goes down. Come on. Come on, all for one. He can show him more as he powers up. He has act. Wasn't this like the after credit scene in season four? How it ended? Oh, I'm definitely rewatching that entire scene. Probably this entire episode. I won't lie. Oh, 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 oh. well, that entire episode was just one big roller coaster of oh my lord. Um, first off, I guess we should talk about Dabby and Endeavor, even though I did talk about that earlier. They're Dabby's crazy. He's definitely higher up in terms of the league because he's been in charge of many Anomus. He came back asking if he can talk to Endeavor and recollect his Nomu, but I don't think that Nomu is there, right? Like he burned it up, well, especially because he wasn't expecting Endeavor to be there. So he would come back after the test was over, pick up the Nomu, stuff like that. But Hawks, I, I wanted to know the conversation. He says, don't worry, we can still talk Endeavor, maybe sometime when we get some privacy. And then he said, don't die, NG Todoroki. So that makes me question so much. Mirko coming out of nowhere was so badass. Really enjoyed her. She is a waifu for sure. She's fit as all hell. Um, Hawks being deep cover black smoke agent Bravo Delta Charlie 007, you know, super dope. I'm really loving his infiltration. The little tiny backstory we got on him and what went, ha what went down there. Um, I did like the reasoning, like I, like I said, of, of the reason they chose him and his indifference to fame and fortune. And then it goes over to like Endeavor, him leaving, having a lot on his mind to think of, and then Hawks maintaining his cover with him, Endeavor then going to seal. He's trying, his, his fatherness and stuff like that, that is a whole different story. It's so complicated. He said he can't seek forgiveness, but he's still gonna do whatever he can to guarantee their future. But then where was the future he chose? Like his future doesn't align with what the, it's like, it's so complicated. It's a whole gray area, but Natsu, I understand why he would storm out of there and refuse that. I completely get that. I do also completely understand how Toto, how Shoto is saying, I still don't forgive you for what you did to mother stuff like that, but I'll see what you do as a father in the future because he knows one small thing can change a person. I really enjoyed that, especially with the developments that Shoto was gotten. Um, the sister Fuyumi, I just thoroughly enjoy her. Like I said, she seems super sincere, sweet, kind. I really would like one day for them all to be a, a happy family. That would be super cool. It ended with Endeavor, look like about to go talk to Natsu, so we'll see what happens with that, you know? That's, it's, I was not expecting him to be a complicated character like that when we first met Endeavor. I really was not, but it's, it's, I'm thoroughly enjoying that. It's a very complicated story, and it has to do with what seeking the top can do to a person and can do to the people around them, you know, that they love. Then we have uh, Deku in the in the dream that was the like post credit scene in season four, and he's talking to the first. That do we ever? I don't think we ever got his name because we don't even know all for one's name. And the, I might have forgotten some stuff, guys. I am somewhat of a noob when it comes to remembering. My memory is not the best. I try my best though, but I do like how back in the day because they are old. I mean, you got to think about it, even though I would assume the average one for all user would die. 
they're not gonna die of old age it's gonna be like nana shimura will they die in action i'm assuming most likely so but there's at least been a few generations i i don't know how long all for one's been uh around but it has to have been at least 100 years 150 200 years i, I forget how long they say when the first quirks came along it wasn't that long i don't know it just it's been a super long time we know that back then when they called the meta powers oh, it's so that's also very complicated because he was talking about justice and technically he's helping out people as well all for one is but he's doing it in a way where they're loyal to him and he gets kind of following from it and it's itself he's definitely doing it for his own self agenda and he's very manipulative and i think i, I wish i knew his little brother's name maybe i'm just blanking but it's just like uh, it's so curious and he still has a very active role in controlling the um one for all power he's talking to deku he said you're not you're barely at 20 percent. i would love to show you much more he can show you like flashbacks he can reenact the past oh my bro this is gonna be so cool this season i can already tell you um he said we're way past the singularity point this oh this show has me so hyped especially the designs of the other users are we gonna know more about them we saw nana shimura uh, it's this oh i said it just a second ago but this show got me so hyped i think all right next week next week's not gonna be too long fantastic episode if you guys enjoyed like i said leave a like let me know your thoughts down below i'll see you guys next week this was a banger thank you so much dapper squad peace out you guys